Well, BAA has announced plans to refinance its debt with a bond issue worth over £250 million. Joining us now is Colin Matthews, CEO of BAA. Colin, very good to see you today. I notice you're rejigging your debt portfolio as well. Uh, you are a company with, I think, around about £8.65 .5, billion worth of debt. Your parent has debts around €24 billion. Euros. How worried are you about the term financing picture? Well, really, the financing uh, picture has been transformed in the last uh, 12 months and the uh, steps that we're taking today are just the final uh, 500 million pounds of uh, debt which sits above the uh, uh, ring fence companies whose results we're announcing today. So it's really the final step in uh, getting back to what I'd describe as a normal um, uh, financing mechanism for a UK regulated industry. Um, your capital investment programme, so says your release today, remains one of the largest of its kind in Europe and will support the UK economy as pressure in the public sector spending increases. Uh, where are you going to find the money for this expansion, though? Well, our cash flow in the nine months we're announcing today was £690 million pounds, and our capex is £610 million. So just about every single pound um, that we earn from our aeronautical revenue and passengers flowing through our business is invested uh, back in the airport and that's a good news story for uh, the economy, it's good news for the airport, it's good news for passengers travelling through Heathrow. Are you worried about support though from your major stakeholder? Ferrovial has signals its intent to sell down uh, its holding from 55 to 45%. Uh, will the other shareholders, uh, the Quebec Consortium and indeed I think it's GIC as well, do you think that they will be happy to provide more funding for your company's expansion? Well, uh, our uh, three key investors have been uh, long-term investors. They've stood by us in the last year. They've invested £500 million of new funds into the business when, when that was uh, required. And uh, for there to be one more such long-term investment uh, investor around the table is fine by me. Colin, just to move on to uh, the growth prospects here, uh, obviously I think the market would be pleased to see the um, increase in um, retail income per passenger through the airports. Could you talk a little bit about how you think that trend may fare now that we a spending review in the UK under our belt? Well, retail income is one important uh, source of income uh, for us, and as we renew terminals, as we make the experience better for passengers, then they're more um, likely to spend in our airports. So that's one positive story. But the other aspect is the return of business travel, um, and uh, Heathrow numbers in particular uh, have been growing in the last uh, quarter because uh, business travel is not just exposed to UK economic activity, it's exposed to global economic activity, it's connecting UK businesses to those parts of the world which are growing, uh, be they China, be it India, be it uh, Southeast Asia. So I think the picture for leisure traffic is less um, buoyant just now, but business travel um, is an encouraging picture for us. Uh, Colin, if you take a look at the kind of people who are viewing you right now, do you see in institutional investors coming back into companies like yours, into infrastructure on an overall basis? Uh, well, obviously, we need um, access to capital markets, and uh, the successful move we've made in recent um, weeks demonstrates that, yes, uh, our company, Heathrow and uh, Stansted together, uh, constitute a very attractive investment opportunity. Um, Mr. Matthews, how would, you, uh, how would you stimulate the upside in the revenue? Obviously, you have the retail per passenger. You're con constrained by the lack of landing slots, the controversy over building another runway at Heathrow. So how can you meaningfully increase revenue from this, this point onwards? Um, well, passengers can grow somewhat, uh, modestly at Heathrow, uh, but also uh, we're funding a huge capital investment programme, and in the UK regulatory environment that is uh, funded through aeronautical uh, charges. And uh, so from a financial point of view, growth comes from that very strong capital investment growing our asset base. Can I ask you just on the, you talk about the passenger experience, um, uh, sir, in this. Um, I think it, all of us who travel through Heathrow still feel concerned that it takes too long to get through security and perhaps it's not as pleasant as it might be. Security obviously to you represents a cost, but how can you improve the passenger experience when there are just some things that are necessities given the, the, the modern age we're in? Well, security is a necessity and of course it keeps changing and today's arrangements are the result of one um, 
requirement laid on top of another. I think we can improve security and we can improve passenger service at the same time by um, sitting down with the authorities who define uh, the requirements and agreeing how best to carry out uh, that process. So I'm optimistic actually that we can make it better and as we make the experience better uh, for passengers so um, our financial performance improves. So we've got every reason to want to do that. I think we're better today than we were a year ago and we fully intend to be better still uh, next year. And uh, just to come back to the comments that uh, the questions that Steve was asking you at the beginning, um, it feels like a business that's been in perpetual debt restructuring. Regulatory oversight has been cruel. You've had the sale of businesses as you've moved forward. When, Colin, do you think we'll see some stabilization and, and we can sort of put a line under all of the challenges that you've faced over the last 18 months, two years? Well, I think we are very uh, in a completely different situation. If you look at the funding um, situation as an indication of that, then in the last year this, it's um, transformed with a huge reduction in the short-term bank debt and a return to the normal financial uh, mechanisms being regularly in the capital markets. And um, that's very encouraging. We, of course, have to raise uh, funds on an ongoing basis, not only as debt maturities uh, come around, but also as we invest um, in our facilities. And since 2006, uh, we weren't able to do that. So the return in the end of 2009 and in the last couple Mr. of Matthews, months. We appreciate your time, sir. Thank you for joining us this morning on Squawk Box. Colin Matthews, the CEO of BAA.